Hey church family, as we turn to 1 Samuel 29 today, David finds himself in quite a predicament of his own making. In chapter 16, the Lord instructed the prophet Samuel to anoint David as the future king of Israel. God's plan for and promise to David was that he would one day be king. David's path to the throne started out well enough with military glory, but soon took a negative turn due to King Saul's jealousy. After running from King Saul for a while, David decided to take shelter with his enemies, the Philistines. In chapter 21, he goes to Achish, the king of Gath, to seek shelter. The Philistines had heard of and experienced the wrath of David. So the servants of Achish strongly discouraged the king from giving David aid and comfort. But David deceived the king. He pretended to be a madman, and Achish allowed David to live in the land of the Philistines. Over the next few chapters, David continued to deceive the Philistines. He told Achish that he and his men were going out to raid Israelite villages, but in truth they were going out to raid the villages of their enemies and giving a portion of the spoils to the Israelites to provide for them and to win their favor. Because of his lies, David also found favor with King Achish. So much so that in chapter 29, Achish is preparing to take David and his men into battle against the Israelites. And now David's lies have led him to a crossroads. Will the anointed future king of Israel go into battle against his own people? Will he reveal his lies to Achish and suffer the consequences? Will he go into battle with the Philistines and kill them in a deceptive and dishonorable way? David's lies left him with no good options. Would his lies prevent the plan and promise of God upon his life? Would David lose the kingdom because of his deception? No, but not because of David. God's plan and promise in David's life continued because of God. In 2 Timothy 2.13, the Apostle Paul reminds us, If we are faithless, he remains faithful. Even though David had been faithless and relied on his deception rather than on the Lord, the Lord remained faithful. The commanders of the Philistines implored Achish to send David back home. They had heard the stories and they did not trust David. Achish listened and sent David and his men back home, and David's path to the throne remained open. God's plan and promise would be fulfilled. When God reveals his plan to us, or makes a promise to us, he will fulfill it. Even though we may be faithless, he remains faithful. And because of his faithfulness, we can trust that all of his plans and promises are good for our lives. Enjoy your time with Jesus today.